Here we are in 19th century Acadiana. We sure are. <laughs> We're at Longfellow Evangelion State Historic Site. I'm the curator here. We have uh, a 19th century Creole sugar plantation built in 1815 on site. We also have an Acadian cabin that's mid 19th, early 20th century. And obviously Chaz and I do a lot of stuff together uh, here dressed up. I'm cooking some bacon right now. And after we're done with the bacon, Chaz is making some Navajo fry bread. Bacon and fry bread. Kira's in costume today too, and we do a lot of living history stuff. I work weekends, so she comes on her weekend off so that she, we can all be together as a family. And luckily, we all like to play dress up and be nerds together, so it works out well. Ready, can we get you some, bro? Yeah, fry bread. Tell me a few things that you've learned with your dad working here. I've learned a lot of natural things like uh, horse tail and all of the things over there can be used in everyday things, such as the horse tail. You can use it as a brush when you're scrubbing pots, which we have done over there. Okay. And I've also learned a bunch of kind of like life lessons. Like earlier we were talking about, you know, stuff like lay the things in the grease so that the grease doesn't jump back on your hands. <laughs> That's a life lesson. It really is. And how so much stuff happened for us to even be here, such as uh, there's a reenactment that we put on once a year that shows what happened when vigilantes came and took the land back from a bunch of farmers who had stolen their cows and things like that. You get all my land! <laughs> um, it really goes to show that we have so much stuff here for just these small reasons, so it's very easy to appreciate. Cool. Uh, Ayla has a bad stomach ache, so I gave her some mint, which uh, is calming for the stomach. And also, Chaz talked about scouring rush, or equisetum, which is used to clean uh, dishes back in the day. So this is the plant. It grows near the swamp, and it's a really ancient plant that was in the time of the dinosaurs, so it's got a lot of silicone, and it's a simple base. And if you rub it together, you can kind of hear how abrasive it is, and it's really great at scrubbing pots and pans and dishes and stuff. And, and so we actually toothbrush. need to hear. Um, use people actually really use it as a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, no, feel it. It's got lots of silicone in it. It's kind of like one of those little yeah. plastic brillos. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. what he's talking about. Awesome. Oh. Philip also wants me to use this as toilet paper, but I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> So now we're at the Creole Sugar Plantation we were talking about earlier, and I'm about to give you guys the tour. So, right now we're in the office of the Sugar Plantation, and we know it's the office because this window, all the sugar would have been out there, and we have the window here which would have been overseeing the entire thing. So let's move on. Do you know the saying, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite? We do. So that saying comes from rope beds, where you had to tighten it every night so that your butt didn't drop and get, and you wouldn't get bugs crawling up on you. So that's sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Yeah. My favorite thing about this porch is that if you look at the roof and the flooring, you can see that it's all painted teal. An old folk tale that ghosts wouldn't fly during the day, the blue sky, or over the ocean, the blue water. So that's just a fo folk tale thing. Okay, moving on. Give me a kiddo. Oh, my God. Are you guys going to respect the night here? No, it's haunted. That would be so. No, there's ghosts up there. Yes. The, absolutely, I've seen the it's paintings. <laughs> okay, so this is my next favorite room in the house. I like this room because 
of this, which we added on later. But it's funny because it's like your first sign of a toilet. It's a nice chamber pot. Oh. And what's it in French? A pot de chambre, but then in Cajun French, pochon. Pochon. A pochon. Okay. You don't want to do the parlor? No, it's the kitchen. Fun, well, dude. It's your show. So the emergency bell, the dinner bell, the hey we need you at the house bell. Call the cows in bell. <laughs> my grandmother, when I was in trouble, she would threaten to pile my butt. <laughs> so uh, growing up, I thought a pile was a spanking. Only discovering after a master's degree and a few years of doing it, this is a pilon and this is a pile. So you'd put corn in there and to grind cornmeal, you'd whack it. So when you pile something, you beat it with a club. So what <laughs> Momo was saying when I got in trouble was she was going to beat me with a stick. Uh, Okay, nice, uh, nice, slightly disturbing story. Okay, so, Erkin, like you had to do this to eat corn. Just like, you know, with the spirit face, you doing anything for anybody? That does it for me. That's how I like it. Fire in the hole. I use guns for hunting, but unfortunately, this gun was used for war. But to the gun. This is an 1842 musket, and it's real. If you were to put a real bullet in here in the end and load it and fire it, it would do real damage. But when you have a gun, any kind of gun, you always treat it like it's loaded. So which way is the barrel pointing right now? Away from everybody. Is there anybody standing in front of the barrel? Nope. So you'll notice when I pick up guns and when I use guns, I point it in a safe direction. What's the safest direction to point a gun? Not at people. Not at people. Up in the air or down at the ground. And if I were going to hand it to somebody, I would make sure that, look which way I'm pointing the barrel. Does the barrel ever point at another person? No. So if I were to hand it to Miss Kira, how would I hand it to her? Um, backwards. It's backwards. You keep the barrel, the muzzle pointed in a safe Thank direction. You. Okay. Fire the hole! Dans ta peine, 